Eddie Johnson did not ask to be superintendent when he was appointed by, appointed rather, by Mayor Rahm Emanuel nearly four years ago. Yeah, Emanuel had rejected three finalists recommended by the police board, which was then headed by Lori Lightfoot. CBS 2's Jim Williams reports as Mayor Lightfoot praised Johnson until today. Eddie Johnson's rise was called inspirational from his early years at the Cabrini Green Housing Project to top cop in his hometown. It's an honor to serve you. I'm one of you. That he was a Chicagoan, born and raised, was emphasized by Johnson, who replaced Gary McCarthy, the native New Yorker, fired by Mayor Rahm Emanuel amid accusations the police department covered up the fatal shooting of teenager Laquan McDonald. A Justice Department investigation found systemic abuses of minorities and called for sweeping changes. We need to do better. And you have my promise and commitment that we will do better. Early in Johnson's tenure, Chicago had its highest number of murders in 20 years. The murder rate eventually went down considerably, but other problems persisted, including police raids on the wrong homes, uncovered by CBS2. When Johnson said he would not attend President Trump's speech to police chiefs in Chicago because he disagreed with the president's values, Mr. Trump ripped Johnson. Frankly, those values to me are a disgrace. Mayor Lightfoot defended the superintendent and praised his leadership when Johnson announced he would retire. <sighs> Praise Lightfoot today regretted after learning, she says, Johnson had lied. I certainly would not have participated in a celebratory press conference to announce his retirement. Street cop, district commander, chief of patrol, superintendent. For Eddie Johnson, a 30-year career which saw him rise to the top of the nation's second largest police department now comes to a bitter end. Live in the newsroom, Jim Williams, CBS 2 News.